Japan, land of the rising sun. An empire which remained completely isolated for several years and was governed by shoguns as military representatives. Next to the imperial house, power was exercised by dynasties and clans, and the samurai protected the feudal nobility. A slow approach to a magnificent beauty. Tokyo is the gigantic metropolis of an exotic world, with an imperial palace in the center of the city. Even today, and protected by walls and wide moats, is evidence of the pronounced power consciousness of the Takugawa Shogunus. Japan's first shogun went duck hunting here. A summer mansion and garden were added. Later, this inland lake was connected to a sea which augmented the park's symbolic value. Behind the Zōjōji Temple is Tokyo Tower, and next to it, the cemetery of the Tokugawa clans. However, the temple complex continued to be a place of meditation and Buddhism. The replica of Paris's Eiffel Tower radiates, especially at night, 333 meters high, colored red and white. Sundays attract many cosplay fans to Harajuku Station, where they enjoy being photographed. <laughs> A large tori provides access to Yoyogi Park. The Meiji Shrine appears, Tokyo's most important Shinto shrine, where Emperor Mutsuhito and Empress Shoken were laid to rest. A place of timelessness, silence and dignity. Since the time of the first shogunate in the 12th century, the Japanese art of sword forging has been considered to be one of the country's highest forms of culture. The deadly weapons of the samurai were famous for their special method of production and the remarkable sharpness of their blades. Centuries before the nearby fish market opened its doors in 1935, the Namajoki Inari Shrine was located here. The Tsukiji Market is the world's largest fish market with approximately 1,500 stalls and 65,000 employees. And everyone wants to be fed. North of the Imperial Palace is the Koishikawa Korora Garden, one of Tokyo's most important landscape gardens. It features stone bridges and various of Japan's famous landscapes were created here in miniature. A green oasis with several shrines attracts visitors from near and far, Ueno Park. We begin our visit at the Tosho Shrine. This magnificent complex is one of the few buildings from the Edo period, including the great Buddhist pagoda. As well as the Gojo Shrine, the Bentendo and Kanondo temples, and the statue of Saigo Takamori.
The city's oldest temple is most captivating, and visitors leave the temple area through a small side gate. The Tokyo Sky Tree has become a landmark of the city. 634 meters high, it's the world's tallest broadcasting tower. Its observation platforms are open to the public. A popular mode of transport for the journey from Asakusa to Tokyo Bay is offered by water bus on the Sumida River. Each of the bridges has its own individual design and function. Today the city shows no traces of past earthquakes or the devastation caused by the Second World War. We arrive at Hinode Pier Station and transfer to the next leg of our journey. Next, the Bay Cruise. We travel from Tokyo Bay's Hinode Pier to the Odaiba landing stage. For reasons of defense, the last shogun, Yoshinobi, wanted to construct 11 artificial islands just off the bay. He had his reasons. In the name of US President Millard Fillmore, Japan's policy of isolation was to be ended and the country forced to open up to world trade. Part of his plan was realized and the name Daiba remained, now Odaiba, with a shopping and entertainment area and modern port facilities. This is where visitors come to have fun, to see Tokyo in a different way and to experience a romantic sunset. when huge robots appear from the darkness, the Japanese idol seems to become reality. The Big Mandarin, as the city likes to call itself, has changed a lot. Skyscrapers and luxury have almost become a religion here. South of Tokyo is the seaport of Kamakura, Japan's ancient seat of government. Shogun Yoritomo of the Minamoto clan left the courtly life of Kyoto in 1192 and built numerous temples and shrines here. The teaching of Zen imported from China filled large sections of both cultural and social life. A stone staircase leads up to one of the five famous temples of Kamakura, where the wooden statues of the main altar present the past, present and future. Graves in moss-framed grottos, stone statues and gravestones enchant in peaceful surroundings. Narrow pathways and small tunnels lead through the rocky terrain from building to building. In Japan, the historic Buddha is either seated, standing or prone. The hall of the monastery's directorate was used for various purposes, Zen meditation, readings and exhibitions.
The Chinese imported Zen teachings also included strict elements such as asceticism, self-determination, subordination, and concentration. Stone Buddhas with flower bowls adorn the garden. The caves and small watercourses cover the primeval landscape. Kenshoji is the most important of the five Zen monasteries of Kamakura and has been conserved in its original form and function. The second oldest bell in the city is one of the temple's treasures. The temple was built for Chinese priest Tai Chiao. Behind the main hall, a golden gate leads to the tomb hall of Tai Chao, who worked as a political advisor and spiritual guide under the Hajo. The decline of the region's rulers was accompanied by violent struggles, during which the city was largely destroyed and subsequently returned to being a fishing village. North of Tokyo, and surrounded by extensive woodland, is the shrine complex of Nikko. Four divine guardian figures guard the Taiyun Byo Shrine. Past a water house in which ritual drinking and washing take place, a path leads higher and higher. A bell tower forms a unit with a drum tower. We pass through another gilded gate. Everywhere appear protective spirits who protect the outer sanctuary. Next, the Haiden, a sanctuary of the temple. Immediately afterwards, the Honden, the inner sanctuary. The entire complex was designed and completed as a mausoleum for Tokugawa Iemitsu. The Futara-san shrine lies opposite, almost hidden within the hills and forests, which, particularly in autumn, enchant with a blaze of vivid color. The first Tokugawa shogun, Ayasu, left precise regulations for his burial. Influenced by the Chinese Kano school, and taking only two years to construct, these massive monuments were created on the edge of the Nikko Mountains. Past a five-story pagoda and stone and bronze lanterns, the route leads to the Holy Stable. Three wise monkeys decorate the building, which see, hear, and speak no evil. After the next gate, steps lead to an open space 
with both a drum and bell tower. The abundance of decorations and ornaments here is in stark contrast to the simplicity of Buddhist art. The holy fountain was used for ritual ablutions. Next, Rinzo contains a library. Tokugawa Ieyasu was the founder of the Tokugawa Shogunate, which ruled for 250 years. Nikko encapsulates history, a burial ground and a refuge of faith. From Odawara, the Hakone Tozan Railway leads inland to Hakone Yumoto. This is the center of Japan, and the train travels through various valleys to the mountains. We continue via zigzag train to Gora, a splendid nature park. Both in summer and in winter, this region is one of Japan's most popular holiday destinations. In Gora, there's also an art museum in which Japanese and Chinese porcelain is exhibited. The exhibition pavilion is surrounded by a romantic garden. This moss garden is an exceptional Japanese garden. From Gora, a cable car leads to Soenzan and travels through several stations. are passed by without stopping, and then there's a siding. Sometimes there's a short stop for passengers. Finally, the terminal of the cable car railway is reached and passengers leave the train. The Gora Health Resort is situated at around 800 meters above sea level. The next section of the Hakone Loop Road begins. Below us, there is a dense forest landscape which by no means indicates what will soon follow. A ropeway leads to the summit of a volcano whose smoking craters lie threateningly in the depths below. This region is located on the ruins of a huge volcano that became extinct between three to four thousand years ago. A stone egg in the fog marks the entrance to the Geo Museum with information on volcanism. Here, explanations of the geological history of the area and various photos are displayed. Next, our descent in the cable car proceeds on the other side of the volcano. The route is mastered by way of a mid-station, whereby the passengers are able to remain seated in their cabins. Ah, 
After arriving at Asi Lake and in any weather, pirate ships are waiting to take tourists back across the lake to Hakone. These replicas of historic ships are very popular with tourists and our return journey is one of the highlights of the trip. At the moment the lake is overcast, but on clear days the nearby Mount Fuji is reflected on the shiny surface of the water. It doesn't take long to cross the up to 45 meter deep Asi Lake. It's like being in a time capsule. Sakisho Fort was once a checkpoint in the Shogunate and is located on the shore next to a cedar forest through which the Tokaido Trail once led. It was here in the Edo era that travelers who chose this trade route along the Pacific were controlled. Every two years, the daimyo also had to appear in Edo to the shogun, who kept their women in the capital as a guarantee of their loyalty. In 1619, this guardhouse was built by the Tokugawa to protect their capital. And from a hill above Sekisho Fort, the view of Asi Lake and the pirate ships is quite a sight. On the shore outside the fort, a dense forest spreads out as in bygone days. Just a short walk through an ancient cedar forest to Moto Hakone, and the lake reappears. A final glimpse of the famous Hakone Shrine, then a red tori awaits new arrivals. This area is fully geared for tourism and a small cemetery recalls past times. Nagoya was founded in the 16th century as a typical castle town and remained the seat of the ruling Tokugawa dynasty until 1868. The complex is a splendid example of early modern Japanese castle architecture with a central tower that's 48 meters tall. From the first to the fifth floor, it displays art treasures that were saved from a devastating fire during the Second World War. The castle was largely destroyed and then painstakingly rebuilt. Various exhibits show the construction of the castle, also weaponry, and the design of the interiors.
Here, visitors can see the living conditions of the Edo period documented very realistically and informatively in various forms of expression. In the second century, the Atsuta Shrine was founded, one of the most important in Japan. The Kasunage no Mitsurugi is kept here, the ruler's sword. Gifu is located near Nagoya, and in 1888 a park was created between the Nagara River and Mount Inaba. A cable car leads to the summit of Inaba Mountain. The view from here is overwhelming. A difficult to reach castle strategically overlooks the surrounding landscape. On the 21st of October 1600, the troops of Mitsunari fought in the plains against those of Tokugawa. In the castle, the reconstructed rooms have been transformed into a museum with weaponry, paintings and clothing of both shogun and samurai warriors. The Japanese Middle Ages were a time of power struggles when the shoguns usurped state power from the emperor. The ethics of Bushido became the guiding principle. The estates were repeatedly divided following numerous battles. The then new Buddhist direction of Zen also influenced martial arts, ceremonials and attitudes. But back to the battle. Tokugawa assured some opponents of generous lands and therefore they defected to him. The long and bloody civil war could be ended and peace followed. On the Nagara River, Traditional fishing with cormorants has been practiced for centuries. Today it takes place only for tourists in the evening. Then they are taken by boat to the river to see master fishermen at work. Slowly, the illuminated boats slide out into the darkness. To get in the mood, people eat and drink on the boats. And then the performance begins. A wood fire attracts the fish. The cormorants hunt them, and a ring attached to the neck of the birds prevents them from swallowing their catch. Inuyama is home to the Meiji Mura theme park that contains over 60 historic buildings from the Meiji era. A 
huge area that's impossible to discover in a day. Numerous of Japan's historical buildings were dismantled and lovingly rebuilt here. including a famous Japanese theatre. The mixture of Japanese and Western architectural elements is particularly interesting. Several trains and buses travel through the open-air museum and take visitors to an assortment of buildings. when the old railway steams its way through the diverse terrain, the hearts of all young at heart passengers beat faster. Meijimura is a place of remembrance of times long gone, an adventure park of Japanese architectural history. Below Inuyama Castle is the old town with a much visited temple. But the main attraction of the small town is the oldest preserved castle in the country. It's also considered to be one of the most beautiful and belongs to one of the only 12 castles whose main tower has been preserved in its original state. In 1537, the castle was built but not destroyed and from the top floor, the view of the river and the city is overwhelming. The old town below the castle has remained largely unchanged since the Edo period. Here, in a few streets, there are wooden buildings in which are mainly small shops that offer traditional handicrafts and medicines. A picture that seems largely unchanged since the end of the Edo period. Kyoto is considered to be the cradle of Japanese culture, an ancient imperial city with 1,200 years of history. Emperor Saga honored the monk Kukai by giving him the Eastern Toji Temple as the center of Shingon Buddhism. The lecture hall is home to a figurine mandala consisting of 21 wooden sculptures. A tranquil sanctuary. The Nishi Hongaji Temple is the main temple of the Jodo Shinshu School a particularly fine example of Buddhist architecture.
Its teachings were established by Shinran Shonin during the middle of the Kamakura period in around 1200 AD. The temple halls and gates are adorned with elaborate carvings and further decorative elements in the style of the Momoyama era. Five buildings of the complex have been designated as national treasures. The superb Nijojo Palace was built by Shogun Tokugawa Iyasu in 1603. Its entrance gate represents the self-assured claim to power of the new rulers. Palace gardens were remodeled by Kobori Enshu to commemorate Emperor Gomizunu, one of the most famous garden designers in Japan. The palace consists of five buildings offset with each other, which are connected by way of corridors. And there's a moat. Kyoto became the second permanent capital of Japan after Nara in 794 AD. On the northern edge of the city is the Kinkakuji Temple, the Golden Pavilion. It is one of the most beautiful buildings of the Muromachi period whose gilded facade reflects in a pond. The mansion of the noble Kintsuni was originally located here. Subsequently, Ashikiga Yoshimitsu took possession of the property. Following his death, the pavilion was transformed into a temple by his son. The Kamigamo Shrine was one of the most influential and powerful shrines during Heian times. Here, nobles and members of the imperial court sought proximity to the Shinto heads of the shrine. founded in the late 7th century. The site existed in its present form in the 11th century. Philosopher's Walk leads to the Ginkakuji Temple. The extensive gardens not only represent the height of that epoch, but also a time of despair. This is the private villa of Shogun Yoshimasa, which was his retirement home. It was also a symbol of a country falling into chaos in which its sovereigns fought against each other with great intensity. The well-preserved Gion Quarter east of the Kamo River is known for its traditional performances, such as that of Koto music. Gagaku music and dance is also featured, as once performed in the Japanese royal court. Mm -hmm. 
kaiomai dances in Kyoto style originated in the Edo period and are known as odori. Human feelings are expressed in each movement. Finally, a puppet show. Popular for 12 centuries, Kyoto is ancient Japan, a place of both culture and religion. Nara is known as the cradle of Japan and was the country's first imperial capital city until the end of the 8th century when the emperor and his state moved to Kyoto. Here are some of the country's oldest temples such as that of Kofukuji that was built in 669 AD. This was the private place of prayer of Fujiwara Kamatari, founder of a powerful family. The five-story pagoda became a symbol of the city. Within the temple museum are exhibited diverse cultural treasures. Nara Park surrounds these sacred sites where tame Sika deer have found a home. They are dedicated to the deity of the Kasuga Shrine and become agitated when hungry. Nara is the birthplace of Japanese art and literature. Newly imported Buddhism was sponsored by those who ruled and extended throughout Japan. Thus, the original religion of ancient Japan, Shinto, was confined to local sanctuaries. Such as here at the Hamuro Shrine, which conserves this ancient national cultural belief. Again and again, the extensive terrain is adorned by well laid out gardens and includes the Yoshiki Garden next to the Himuro Shrine. The garden is named after the small and adjacent Yoshikigawa River. It is the tranquility and peaceful charisma of nature, which indicates that the priests of the nearby Kofukuji Temple once resided here. Next, the Isuyan Garden, which is divided into two areas. The front section is decorated with small ponds, a narrow inlet with stones as bridges and tea houses. The rear section of the garden was designed by a rich merchant of Nara in 1899. The design is known as the technology of the borrowed landscape. In the temple district of Toreiji, Sika deer abound. And a brown wooden boat floats in the Kagami Iki Pond. Mm -hmm. 
Stone lions guard the gates to the site. Next, one of the largest wooden constructions on the planet appears. Inside, a giant Buddha figure is guarded by various deities. It's quite a frightening place. Wakakusayama Hill borders the park and is inhabited by several more seeker deer. From here, hundreds of stone lanterns accompany the path to the Kasugataisha Shrine. They're illuminated twice a year during the Mantoro festival. According to Shinto rules of purity and renewal, the site was destroyed every 20 years and rebuilt in precise detail. The red painted wooden buildings are in stark contrast to the stone lanterns. Nara possesses some of Japan's oldest temples and is a combination of village, park and showcase. Today this place is a romantic and transformed dream destination. The National Museum exhibits important works of art from the Nara period, an exceptional collection of early Buddhist art. Centuries of almost complete isolation have formed a fascinating culture in Japan that is harmonious, but at the same time rich in contrast as nowhere else. In the second part of our journey in Japan, we shall again visit a number of unusual places. Osaka, the second largest city and economic and administrative center of West Japan. An old trading city with a huge castle. In the 15th and 16th centuries, Kobe was regarded as the gateway to trade with China and became a cosmopolitan city thanks to Western merchants. In the middle of lush wooded mountain scenery is Saint Koyasan with temples, monasteries, pagodas, stupas and a world famous cemetery. Himiji Jo, the shining castle of the White Heron, Japan's largest and most beautiful castle built according to the most modern military requirements. Okayama, the city of gardens, where famous landscape gardens show Japanese perfection and date from the Edo era. Kurashiki, with the narrow streets and canals of the old town and a historic neighborhood with merchants' buildings and warehouses along the canal. Matsui, with its original preserved black fortress and an original Shinto shrine whose mighty straw roofs depict its connection with agriculture. In Hiroshima, we encounter the tragic history of the country where many monuments remind us of the once devastating dropping of atomic bombs. And finally, the island of Miyajima, whose shrine was dedicated to the daughters of the Shintoist wind goddess Susanoo, and the famous Red Gate, 
which occasionally stands in water.